guys. Uh, I had trouble finding information on these automatic chain tensioners for the KLR250 Kawasaki Dual Sport. Um, so I basically took it apart and figured out how it worked so that I could uh, better adjust it when it's on the bike and chop, stop uh, my chain from slapping. Uh, so while it's on the bike, it's kind of sitting on the engine like that, pressing against a uh, slide the cam chain slides over and so if you want to adjust it all that's in here is a spring and a uh, worm drive so the worm drive is always trying to uh, the spring is always trying to push the worm drive out so if you take a small little flathead screwdriver in here you can get it set into the worm drive and if you take it Clockwise, you can actually bring the uh, tensioner in all the way. And then as you release the, uh, as you turn it counterclockwise, spring will push the worm drive outwards against the cam chain guide. And when it's on my bike, on my 96 KLR, I probably have about that much tension left and I was getting a little bit of chain slap probably because the spring is not as strong uh, the closer it gets to the fully extended. Uh, but I found that the slap would go away if I just uh, put it on the bike and let it go to its full extension against the cam chain guide. And then if I just give it a little kind of a tight turn uh, to the left counterclockwise, it would kind of tighten up this tensioner and it stopped my uh, what I thought to be cam chain slap against the top of the valve cover. So it fixed that problem and maybe it can fix your problems too. Uh, people say you need to get a manual cam chain tensioner, but if you understand how these work, you know, there's almost no difference. It's just that this one is kind of adjustable and constantly varies based on uh, the wear and the stretching of the chain. So it does its best to maintain the chain tension. And they can reach the end of their, uh, you know, if the cam, if it's fully extended in there, then it's not putting any tension on the cam chain. And in that case, there might be some other problem, like the chain is uh, needs to be replaced, uh, or who knows why. There's so many things that can go wrong with these bikes, but hopefully this is not one of them. So I hope this helps you uh, understand these things a little bit better, so you don't have to take yours apart. <laughs> and uh, all right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Bye.